how to drop ship on Amazon from AliExpress. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can drop ship products from AliExpress to your shop within Amazon. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do, go to amazon.com and here we have the platform. The second thing is to open up a AliExpress window. It doesn't matter where uh, from aliexpress.us or .com, it doesn't matter. So we are going to see only the products that what we need here. You don't need an account within AliExpress. If you want to create an account to get some uh, personal needs or personal products, it is up to you, but in the dropshipping, it is not necessary. Now, we are going to set right there the links, but after you have set the product and you have made the description, also the images, you will need an account specific for dropshipping. You are going to link a credit card within that account, and then we are going to start dropshipping. In my case, I will sign up for my account. A little disclaimer, guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, accounts are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. So go ahead and create your own accounts. And let's go back to amazon.com and we can create our own selling account. Go ahead and click on sell and it will take you to the Amazon central. Right there, start selling with Amazon. Sign up right there. It is not free. You will get charged $39.99 a month plus selling fees. And all you have to do is you put your Amazon password. And from that, you are going to click on next. Within that, it will demand you a document and also some uh, IDs and a lot of things. You can go ahead and begin and put your uh, rechargeable credit card or debit card, phone numbers, and etc. These are necessary things to get uh, or join Seller Central on Amazon. You can go ahead and select the country location and etc. And from there, you are going to open up your own account within Amazon Central. The second thing that you are going to do is to visit AliExpress again. Now we are going to make some research about the products. Go ahead within AliExpress products, select any product that you want and you want to drop ship. I highly recommend you to check out on Google popular products within that specific season. Either you can go and visit Google Trends and set right there a keyword Let's go ahead and search for a keyword like something like like this. I'm going to see that product. This is new and the animation on it is a very, very uh, awesome. I'm going to see that. It is a color, I think, for pets. I think that it is a chain, yes, and a color for pets. Recrackable leash. I'm going to set that right there. Go ahead and copy. Go to Google Trends and make a explore for that specific item if you see here some uh, positive and also very good and high traffic uh, results you are going to work with that or you can go ahead and make something from pinterest go ahead and create your pinterest account it is preferably to create a business account within a pinterest it is free and it is easy go ahead to the business hub right there select pinterest trends Within Analysis and Performance, go ahead and click on it and it will show you the trending posts and also trending, uh, as you can see right there, uh, products or anything from the trending area within Pinterest. Here you can go ahead and see the trends in the United States or you can go ahead and select the region that you are going to set. Here we have the keywords. You can type a keyword and see right there the weekly changes, the monthly changes, and also the yearly changes. Go ahead and type anything right there, keywords. For example, I'm going to type the dog leash and see if it is uh, set. And uh, unfortunately, it is not found. So you are going to make this and link it to another trendy thing. Go ahead and check from these, for example, plants. We have a lot of um, seasons and also sessions. You can see that everything right there is for recipes, hairstyles, and dresses. So don't go ahead and get that color yet. If you have another resource for traffic or also trendy products, go ahead and make these. 
or you can go and choose whatever is a trendy right there. For example, this, I'm going to choose t-shirts or jewelry or makeup, uh, like uh, makeup uh, brushes and also products. But in my case, I will go ahead and make this because it looks very cool in my opinion. So I, I think that is a trendy product right there. Now, let's go ahead to the most important part. When you join the Amazon seller, you are going to set or see this dashboard. Here we have the name of the store or the um, Amazon ID. And also we have the Amazon Central dashboard. You can go ahead and add this product right there to your Amazon store by simply clicking on inventory. And from then you are going to click on add a product or simply you are going to the catalog right there and click on add products. You can either go ahead and manually make these products. This is a very and highly recommended to make them manually because Amazon will not allow you to put a extension or integration to put some automations. This is uh, the laws of Amazon. And from there, when you add or you set your products, you are going to click on inventory and manage the inventory right there. You can see right there that we have the products and from there we have our product set as you can see here you have the image of the product the status and also the description the listing id and the prices now let's go ahead and see other options that we have you can see here we have the orders when you receive a order you can go ahead and manage it and fulfill it right there and amazon will get this product but first you have to set the uh, as you can see or say uh, the fulfillment method you can go ahead and put it manually so when you are on home you can go ahead and fulfill the uh, sourcing and also the orders from your home or you can send these uh, products directly to the amazon uh, address then they will automate the fulfillment for you now as you can see here we have also some campaigns manager if you want to create a campaign for that product and also you can make some sales by putting some ads. Now, let's go ahead and see how to add a product. The first thing that you are going to see when you click on add product, here we have the product type. Go ahead and set the product favorites, search category, and also a browse a category. Right there, we have the product identity. You can see we have here some variation. If you have some variation, in our case, we have a three variation. So you are going to set here, yes. And now we have the external product ID. You can put an ID for your product. It can be random or it can be something set uh, automatically from the store. And here I forgot to mention something that uh, there is some uh, resembling products on Amazon. You can go ahead and set a product resembling to you. So you are going to copy the product identity, the vital info, the variation, and etc. But if this product or your product is set for the first time on Amazon, you are going to make it a unique product and go for, from scratch to fill these gaps or informations. For example, here we have the item name, a brand name. If you, it is a brand, for example, here we have the brand. It is called Ro Rojeco. You can go ahead and put it right there. And also, if you don't have a brand name, let it like that and check this box. Now, let's go back right there to the vital infos. Right there, we are going to put the manufacturer and the each unit count. Is the product expirable? You are going to select yes or no and when. And the country of origin. From AliExpress, you are going to set China. Here we have the unit count and also the unit account type. Now let's go to the further steps. We have some contains liquid content. You can go ahead and set this if you are going to sell some beverages or some liquids to wash cores and etc. And also you can go ahead to mention if the item is heat sensible or sensitive. Now for the second or the after uh, right there step, we have the offer where you are going to set the prices. Go ahead and put a contribution SKU and the price and also the quantity that is available in your inventory. 
Now we have here the offering condition type. You are going to set it as new. Dropshipping is going to sell new products to customers and not used products. Now we have here the fulfillment channels. You can, I will ship this item myself. This is a merchant fulfill. So from your home, you are going to receive the order and you are going to put the packaging and also the invoices and you are going to paste them on the carton, for example, or some package. Or you have the option to put the Amazon will ship and provide customer service fulfilled by Amazon. So you have to ship your inventory or your whole inventory to your Amazon um, uh, address. They will give you an Amazon address and you will set and send these products to them so they will ship everything. That was for the offer. You can also add some images when you click on images right there. Go ahead and don't forget to copy and paste or uh, save these images. Go ahead and click on them. You can also download a integration called Ali Save. Uh, this is it, I think, or image downloader. You can see right there the the options or the or the pictures that are available right there. You can go ahead and download all of these pictures. So you are going to add them to your uh, Amazon Seller Central. And finally, we have the description. Description, all you have to do is to copy the uh, seller description. And then you are going to modify something to make some difference between you and the Aliexpress seller. So that you are going to uh, play on the keywords and also the slogans. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and saw how it is a very simple to join Amazon sellers and also make some drop shipping from AliExpress, which is a source and to your Amazon, which is represents a store with a high traffic. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.